Hello people, in this video we want to look at renal cell carcinoma. So what you are looking at here is the kidney. You can see at the upper pole of the kidney there is some mass. So this is carcinoma of the kidney. Okay, so carcinoma is what? It's a malignant condition of the kidney. Carcinoma of the kidney, right? This is also called as adenocarcinoma of kidney. So uh, this is uh, also called as what? Adenocarcinoma of what? Of kidney. It is also having one more name called as Gravitz tumor. Okay, three tumors you have looked at. What I mean, three names you have looked at for the same thing. That is adenocarcinoma of kidney. It is renal cell carcinoma, or even actually hypernephroma, hypernephroma and uh, Gravitz tumor. Okay. So did you understand the four names, guys? Renal cell carcinoma, hypernephroma. This is an old name, hypernephroma, and all they don't use now. It is adenocarcinoma. Okay. So basically, uh, these are uh, common cancers. This cancer comprises um, 70 to 80 percent of renal cancers, okay, and it occurs in 50 to 70 years age of male, okay. Now, why does it occur in these people? Because um, uh, some of the theories are that tobacco use or genetic factors like von Lippau, uh, von Hippel Lindau disease, okay. So the, uh, these people who have some kind of genetic predisposition can get what, guys? Renal cell carcinoma, okay. Okay, then um, look at this. Uh, they have some hereditary condition, hereditary, all of them in the family or some members in the family can have this renal cell carcinoma, especially the clear cell type. See, renal cell carcinoma, what you're looking at now, RCC, renal cell carcinoma has many types. One of the types uh, is this clear cell type. So here you can see the clear cell we have drawn. This uh, drawn. This is a clear cell type. This is the non-papillary type. This is the papillary type, which has given you an understanding. Then there's a chromophobe type. See, chromophobe doesn't have color pale so basically all these can be genetic okay so here they have written genetics there can be some familial 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 predisposition okay so i mean sorry this one right this one so um so basically uh, all of these can have some genetic um, cause okay so that is another cause for renal cell carcinoma guys what are we looking at we are looking at renal cell carcinoma in renal cell carcinoma we're looking at the causes and one of the causes tobacco <clears throat> then the other you using you saw is genetic one hippel lindau uh, disease then all these four types or uh, three types of uh, renal cell carcinomas can be genetic right then after the genetic we are talking about the cystic disease of kidney some cystic disease of kidney like ad the adult polycystic uh, disease uh, kidney disease multi cyst nephroma these can be associated associated with higher occurrence of papillary uh, renal cell carcinoma. So basically, you should understand there are many types of renal cell carcinoma. The papillary type, I'm just drawing a papilla here. This can be because of adult polycystic kidney disease. So here you have the adult kidney in which there are polycysts. So adult polycystic kidney disease, a disease or a multi cyst nephroma is associated, and the multi cyst nephroma is associated with higher occurrence of papillary renal cell carcinoma. Okay. So that is cystic disease of kidney can lead to renal cell carcinoma. Now let's move to other risk factors. Other other risk factors is exposure to asbestos. Some women who are taking estrogen therapy, mostly that will be a, a hormone replacement therapy after the menopause, isn't it? Then somebody is taking some analgesic nephropathy. See, NSAIDs can damage the kidney, looks like. Analgesic nephropathy, is it? Then tuberculous sclerosis, um, this is um, yet another condition where there can be associated renal cell carcinoma. So basically here uh, they are talking about um, NSAIDs like aspirin, ibuprofen, okay. So not all NSAIDs are that perfectly fine, isn't it? Now what is tuberculous sclerosis? So basically this uh, tuberculous sclerosis is also a uh, autosomal, uh, that's a genetic condition, isn't it? Autosomal dominant, that too, it is genetic uh, disease. Actually it will cause uh, growth of tumors um, yeah, on the brain, even on the kidney, heart, etc. Okay, so it will, uh, there can be non-cancerous growths etc but this one renal cell carcinoma is actually carcinoma so it is a cancerous growth isn't it now let us look let us look at the types of uh, renal cell carcinoma again look at this classification or types of renal cell carcinoma guys so basically here you have the clear cell type that's why we drew a clear kind of cell inside nothing is there papillary type then you have the granular type then you have the chromophobe type so pale pale then sac sarcomatoid sarcomatoid type well world like pattern something collecting duct type so collecting duct i have just shown a henley's loop here and then the distal convoluted tubule and then then a collecting duct so that you can remember the types of renal cell carcinoma okay so in this uh, sarcomoid <coughs> this one sarcomatoid sarcomatoid in this there will be worlds of atypical anaplastic spindle cells okay 
just see how it will be mainly what is important for you is the clear cell type this will be having um, some uh, some uh, connection to the vhl is it chromosome 3 when a von hippel lindau okay disease so chromosome 3 so uh, this one is having a uh, connection with this chromosome 3 clear cell clear cytoplasm will be there because of glycogen and lipids and it will be well differentiated so guys you have looked at the renal cell carcinoma some points let's go on to more points now okay ready guys so let's look at this uh, measure this is actually renal cell carcinoma you can see what do you think what type do you think this is clear cell look at this this is also renal cell carcinoma see if this is uh, how it is drawn uh, by as in the record not at all nicely drawn clear cell carcinoma of the kidney guys look at this on this side you have the Uh, glomerulus etc compressed uh, renal uh, parenchyma on the other side you have the tumor cells how are the tumor cells in solid pattern okay polygonal cells with abundant clear cytoplasm right and uh, round nuclei so this is the they have marked here this side is a normal and this side is having the renal cell carcinoma clear cell type So what will you see in the pathology gross and microscopy? You need to learn, right? So look at this here. You, they are showing you the upper pole of the tumor. There is some hemorrhage, ischemic necrosis, etc. This is what is strange, right? There is ischemia, hemorrhage, Hem ischemic necrosis, hemorrhage. Okay, because of the hemorrhage, there is ischemic necrosis, is it? So renal cell carcinoma. So this is the gross. Again, here they are showing you. So basically, what will you see in the gross? Solitary unilateral tumor, often in the upper pole. right and you will see that um, uh, the tumor is large golden yellow cut section will show ischemic necrosis cystic change hemorrhage we already told you what you will see in the cut section uh, then uh, through tumor what is this tumor thrombus in the renal vein can be there so renal vein is what so if this is the kidney all right if this is the kidney from the kidney what will come out especially from uh, this one okay this is renal vein Now there can be a thrombus sitting in the renal vein. Now you know what this thrombus can actually lead to compression of the testicular. Um, I mean, vein testicular vein will not be able to drain into the renal vein, and this person can have a, a varicocele, right? He can develop a varicocele. So renal cell carcinoma can actually lead to varicocele. So that is why this thing is important. You can see a tumor thrombosis in the renal vein, which may even extend to the vena cava because this renal vein finally where will it drain to? This renal vein will drain into the inferior vena cava, right? And all this anatomy that we are telling you, where the testicular vein drains into the renal vein, and all this is sick on the uh, left side. Okay, right side the testicular vein directly drains into the inferior vena cava. Left side only all these, uh, if especially left uh, kidney has carcinoma, you can imagine that person can uh, have a same side varicocele. Okay, here is the gross from our lab. Do you want us to zoom? this is the kidney so are you seeing all those gross things that they told you hemorrhage ischemic necrosis cystic change from if, if you actually see with the before the cut section it should be large golden yellow in the upper pole solitary unilateral okay now let us move on to the microscopy so microscopy do you rem remember the image that we showed you something like this and this was the hand drawing so here you can see clear cell this is the clear cell type the cytoplasm is clear no glycogen no lipids or something right so there will be clear cytoplasm due to removal of glycogen and lipid okay then you will have some uh, variety of pattern solid trabecular tubular pattern and uh, so many types of renal cell carcinoma are there right you how many types of renal cell carcinoma you know clear cell type papillary type granular type chromophobe type sarcomatoid type and collecting duct type you have already seen this in the types of renal cell carcinoma so for each of these they are giving you the microscopic what will you see in that okay so in papillary you will see that it is arranged in papillary pattern the tumor cells okay then we are not going into the details right granular you will see what abundant acidophilic cytoplasm more pleomorphism of the nucleus nuclear pleomorphism chromophobe type you will see clear pale cells obviously right it's chromophobe it will not pick up color pale clear cells guys are you focusing then a sarc 
आपको मेटॉइड भी ऑलरेडी टोल यू दैट सम वर्ल एनाप्लास्टिक स्पिंडल स्ट्यूमर सेल्स एक्सेट्रा कलेक्टिंग डक टाइप मीन्स आफ्टर देंडलेस लू डिस्टल कन्वर्टेड ट्यूबल हियर यू हैव द कलेक्टिंग डक टाइप दिस इज अ रेयर वेराइटी देर सेंग इट अकर्स इन द मेड्यूल ऑफ द किडनी वेर इज द मेड्यूल ऑफ द किडनी दिस इज किडनी एंड दिस इज द कॉर्टेक्स इन साइड मिडिल यू हैव द मेड्यूला सो इन द मिडिल ऑफ द किडनी इट कैन अकर इज इट ओके सो देर आर सो मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ रीनल सेल कार्सोनोमा दिस इज वॉट वी हैव एक्सैक्टली ड्रॉन इन द रिकॉर्ड आई फील and this is what clear cell predominate in the tumor while well, stroma is composed of fine and delicate fibrous tissue how will these pre people present to you guys uh, renal cell carcinoma we finished the gross and microscopy right gross and microscopy we are done gross over microscopy now we are moving on to the clinical features okay we are just looking at some pathology here actually uh, not a uh, high level but anyway so uh, what will be there they'll have hematuria so you remember if they give you a um uh, uh, a clue that is hematuria is there right flank pain will be there flank pain and palpable abdominal mass obviously there's a tumor on the kidney there it's a palpable abdominal mass what is flank flank by the side of your abdomen right flank pain will be there okay so this is the triad triad of renal cell carcinoma can you say the triad of renal cell carcinoma uh, gross hematuria gross look at this it's hematuria is not a small thing that they're saying there's gross hematuria flank pain palpable abdominal mass okay so the most common presenting abnormal abnormality is hematuria so you should remember this and by the time the tumor is detected it has already spread they are saying to the lung brain bone etc to the liver perivenal lymph nodes okay that's sad so other symptoms that they will have will be fatigability weight loss cachexia what is cachexia wasting muscle wasting okay intermittent fever associated with evidence of infection so basically this is a pu o oh, pyrexia of unknown origin is it so that can be a cancer if somebody is having intermittent fever unassociated with the evidence of infection see this is not associated this is unassociated with the evidence of infection so you are ruling out all types of infection tuberculosis malaria etc etc that fever is still there so pyrexia of unknown origin you should think about cancer is it adrenal cell carcinoma you can think of Uh, amongst the so many other types of cancers um then there can be some para near plastic syndromes because of all this because of ectopic hormone production etc because of excess erythropoietin they can have polycythemia because of um, uh, parathyroid hormone and prostaglandins these people can have hypercalcemia they can have hypertension because of, uh, of renin effect right they can have um, gonadotropins uh, because of that they can have feminization or masculinization they can have cushing syndrome because of glucocorticoids okay just look at the uh, clinical features here down below <clears throat> so these people obviously will have these three things we told you pain hematuria loin mass right hematuria important pain in the loin uh, in the flank flank pain hematuria uh, loin mass right and uh, these people can have um, polycythemia because they are producing lot of uh, rbcs so there is something called as uh, anemia in those people also right so there can be anemia then hyperglobinemia there is hyperglobinemia means what more globe sorry globulins in the blood so hyperglobulinemia then uh, because of all this extra erythropoiesis etc what will happen the bones which will have bone marrow which is making the blood right these bones will be uh, making so much more they'll be more active so what can happen these bones can become uh, weak and they can have fractures bone pain etc so uh, then what else uh, they can have some endocrine uh, uh, manifestations like hypertension like obviously kidney is maintaining uh, blood pressure so hypertension they can have hypercalcemia they can have okay so what is this calcium kidney is helping in uh, absorption is it so there can be hypercalcemia again uh, parathyroid uh, hormone also can contribute here isn't it so these are some of the symptoms uh, or the presentations clinical features of renal cell carcinoma guys look at this the prognosis is uh, around 5 year survival is about 70% not that bad what do you say overall 5 year survival rate is about 70% but if there's metastasis if there is vein invasion of the renal vein or if there is some um, uh, okay metastasis or renal vein infection there can be poor prognosis okay high grade tumor if it is there so you have to learn how to grade all this tumor etc okay
present types of renal cell carcinoma there is renal medullary carcinoma it's a new subtype actually it's associated with sickle cell trait okay renal medullary carcinoma it's a type of renal cell carcinoma then these people can have liver problem also because of the kidney um because of this renal cell carcinoma there can be problem to the liver but once the nephrectomy is done you remove the kidney the liver can recover they are saying there's just now another thing in renal cell carcinoma gross this uh, growth right it grows and ruptures out of this capsule so what will happen the shape of the kidney is still maintained okay so this is uh, nice about renal cell carcinoma right the shape of the kidney is maintained but they are saying in wilms tumor it will be within the capsule and it with the shape of the kidney will not be that bean shape so renal cell carcinoma it will maintain the shape that much you understood guys uh, in the next video we will look at the staging then we will look at the investigations you will order then you will look at the treatment etc for this renal cell carcinoma okay bye bye